Hello everyone, welcome back. We are ready to start another companion quest. And we're going to be starting with Siora's quest, which is something that we picked up in the last episode, to find her mother. I feel bad that her mother has died. I don't know. I guess it's not confirmed that her mother's died. She could technically be a prisoner. We just need to get to her as soon as possible. So we're going to go ahead and speak with Siora and have her give us this quest. Honor Manawi. My mother is still held in this outpost near the Gigador. I must do everything I can to free her from the lion's claws. So will you accompany me? We will do everything we can to free her. Do not worry. Let's go. Go to the Alliance outpost. I really think it's the place that we were at before. It was uh, like this little outpost in the northeastern part of the map. And there was like nothing to do there. I couldn't talk to anybody. We also still have Petrus in our group. And I'm thinking about just changing up the group a little bit. So we're going to remove Petrus. You've been an amazing help. I've actually really learned to like having him with us. So I'm going to take a moment to look at these attributes. She has mental power, willpower, agility. I'm almost tempted to bring Vasco with us. I don't know why he has such a low level health. You see that? 900 compared to Petrus's 1875. <laughs> wow. Uh, Sierra's 1425 and Kurt's 1200. But it could be maybe because we haven't used them in a while. I'm not sure. So we're going to just add him to the group. See what happens. Everybody should be leveled up. And... We're going to fast travel because I don't have the patience to be running all over the map again. I just want to start some quests. And I think this is the map that I was thinking of. Yeah, it is this area. Okay. Well, it's good to know that it's exactly where I suspect it would be. And it shouldn't take us too long to run to this area. Hello, who's there? Renegades. I think I kicked this lady before she actually hit me. That was cool. They came up out of the over the ridge out of nowhere. Kind of like in Red Dead Redemption, when you be running in the Appalachia area of the map, the eastern side, I always get stormed. It's always by those weird little redneck dudes. Have I seen these guys before? Oh yeah, yeah. This is a battlefield right here. I was just trying to get to this outpost as quick as possible and I was ambushed. This. this is ore? No, just hoof fungus. So I'm thinking that the way this is about to roll out, I was able to come in here before, but I assume he's going to say, absolutely not, get out of here. Especially when you have a native with you. And this could actually become a very hostile encounter. Halt! Who goes there? De Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. Oh, well, you can come in, Your Excellency. But this savage, on the other hand... Am I the one you call a savage, Renaigse? This young lady is the princess of her people and she is with me. As such, I would appreciate if you let us through. Very well, Your Excellency. Please go and find the captain. I'd feel better knowing that he gave you his endorsement. 
Well, she's good to come with, right? Oops, I didn't mean to run into him. <laughs> uh, oops, I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, see, we'd been in here already. I can't remember if I... I think I did speak with him very briefly. Your Excellency, what do you want? Why are you at war against the natives? Because they reject our presence. They've been attacking us for months. These savages, they stubbornly refuse civilization. And our men pay the price. We can't let them slaughter us without reacting. Since you arrived here, you have destroyed the forest and ripped open the earth. And people disappear in our villages, the on all Manawi first. We are only defending ourselves. And we are the savages. Since we've defeated you, you can believe what you like. Anything else? Allow me to introduce Siora, the daughter of Queen Bladnid, whom you faced on the battlefield. We understand that you brought her mother here, and I would like to negotiate her liberation. A liberation? That'll prove difficult. She's dead. No! You! You let her die! You may even have finished her off like an agonizing animal! We didn't need to. When we collected her up from the battlefield, she was severely wounded. She died on the way to the camp. I want to see her body, Honol Manawi. Please. I must see her. Can we see her, Captain? If you're the one who's asking, Your Excellency, it should be possible. You're in luck. We were thinking about getting rid of it, but we received the order to keep her body. It's still at the infirmary. Ask the doctor. He'll show it to you. Thank you, Captain. Siora, I'm terribly sorry. Let's go see her now. I need to. I'm sorry for your loss, Siora. The infirmary must be the building on the right, near the camp entrance. Let's go. The way he described her mother's body. That was a bit uncalled for. Poor Siora. She's gonna want to get revenge on these guys. That will be her next quest, I guarantee. Who are you? Are you looking for a doctor? I am the legate of the congregation, and this is Siora, the daughter of the queen whose remains you're keeping. I would like to see her. I need to see her. Please. My condolences, madam. The body of your mother is back there in the room on the left. So we've been here earlier. Which makes it very awkward. That we were literally standing here in a previous episode. And it was her mother's body. Not... No. I should give you some privacy while you're mourning. We won't be far. And the worst here too, my dear. Men sit da den on mil frichtemen. I must take her with me on all Manawi. We must perform the rituals. The captain said that he was instructed to keep her body. It will not be easy to convince him to disobey. I do not care about the captain's orders. She is my mother. She must be given back to the earth. So, let's go back to see him and try to make him change his mind. You can try, but with all due respect, I doubt that you will succeed. He will not want to draw attention to himself by disobeying this order. What do you mean? I believe he is a traitor, and that he made a deal with Telemi. Those are some serious accusations, even for a member of the Guard. Why would you believe such a thing? I overheard a conversation that got me thinking, and I also saw certain documents. We could use them to pressure him. Did you take them? No, that would be too risky. I do not want to get into trouble. But I suppose they would still be amongst his other belongings. Will they let us rummage through this place without protesting? Most of the guards returned to Hikmet after the battle was over. If you are discreet, you should be able to enter the officer's building. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Shouldn't you ask the Captain first? Maybe he'll change his mind? You're right. Let's try talking to him before rummaging through the camp. Oh, but I really like to just 
rummage through the camp. <laughs> like a sneaky little snake. I don't think we're going to get anywhere with him, but it might also give us the option of... Is that someone T-posing over there? Oh, never mind. I thought the... She's just stretching. Um, but yeah, I have a feeling that he's not going to want us to do this. But we might also get the opportunity to get some type of disguise. Alright. How influential can I be in this dialogue? Your Excellency, what do you want? We would like to retrieve the remains of the Queen. Bring her back to her people and her family. That will not be possible, Your Excellency. As I told you, the Governor specifically asked us to keep her. He wants her delivered to one of his scholars who wanted to study her. And well, I have a 50-50 chance. And then I could just steal her body anyway. You have lost a lot of men in this battle. How would you feel if someone prevented you from giving them a proper burial? If you knew that their corpses were going to be given to some scholars to be dissected, wouldn't you want to have them back? The way I feel when it comes to my men does not concern you. I cannot give her back to you. End of discussion. Captain, I insist. Let us take this body with us. I have orders, Your Excellency. I've already told you. It is my mother we are talking about. My mother, whom you let die by dragging her all the way here. Give her back to me, or I swear that I will never leave you in peace. This isn't the right way to approach this, Siora. Come. This man is as cold as stone. I'm afraid we have no choice but to pressure him now, like the doctor told us. We will have to be discreet if we want to find these documents without getting caught. And I think I have a disguise. I hope. Um. So I know that the icon is... You know, I really think that this can work. The icon, that little lion with the blue and the green flag, is... It determines which group of people like the coin guard or hickmit uh the knots i think that the blue and the green is the disguise we want well i'm just gonna try oh yeah yeah that guy just walked by with blue and green i should be okay to go in i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna go in this door though i don't want to walk into the door that that guy's standing at really think I'm going to be okay. A lock pickle? I might have had the key for that. Note from the captain of the Vedrad outpost. Here's a document that could be useful. They're meeting with the buyers. Then we should go there. He won't be able to deny it if we catch him red-handed. There's a risk that he will react violently, but we have no other choice. Let's go then. I know this place. It is further down the road, near a large tree. Well, what's this? Hold on. Oh, I don't think that helped us. So where do we need to go? I said to the west. Oh, right here. Go to the meeting point. If this meeting turns bloody, it's only going to be his fault. You know, that's what he gets for being a dickhead. Here we are. This is the tree that was mentioned. Let's hide while we wait for them to arrive. Alright, where do you want me to hide? Oh, right behind these conveniently placed rocks.
<laughs> and my lantern's on. Well, Captain, you have some peculiar friends for a man who obeys the Alliance. You? What are you doing here? We stumbled upon some strange documents and wanted to see for ourselves if there was any truth to them. Sorry, my friends. If you want our shipment, then we need to get rid of this nosy legate. Captain, you are making a grave mistake. All we want is to negotiate. I want to be of my mother. Have the poison on my blood. Then let's go! Let's see if you can ward off this faint. Get him, guys. Enough! I surrender! I would never have thought that you would dare to attack allies of the congregation. <laughs> it seems to me that you were the one who attacked. How did you put it? This nosy legate. Had you simply listened to us, Captain, this fight would not have taken place. All we wanted was for you to respectfully deliver the body of the Queen to her village. And will you stay silent about what you saw? We're neutral. Trading amongst yourselves does not concern us. In that case, very well. I'll return to the outpost and ensure it's done. Now I would like for us to return to my village. I am eager to reunite with my sister. In that case, let's return to Vedrais. This should be an interesting ceremony. I'm just glad we have her back. And divorced here, say. Some men delivered her remains here. They said that it was thanks to you. And the Renaigze legate, thank you. We will be able to pay homage to our mother. Why are there mind shakers here, Aselt? I meant to tell you about it. They came saying that our mother had made an agreement with Teleme. But... Mater did not tell me about it. She didn't say anything to me either. I do not like this, Iseld. These people want to drive us away from the land. I know. But we need help after the defeat. And they say that she made a promise set in stone. The spirits of the people of our village would have to go to the light, and in exchange, they'd help us against the lions. This is impossible. Mater would never have done such a thing. They are lying, I'm certain of it. They may be. But if there really is a promise set in stone, we cannot break it. And we will have to bury our mother according to their rituals. We must verify it. I will not stand there while these mind shakers take our village. Oof. This is going to lead up to the next quest. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Could you tell me about Siora? You are right there, and you let him talk about you like this, Asir? That's a strange friend you have there. Perhaps I wanted to hear how you'd reply. Perhaps, but I don't like this. Did you want anything else? Yeah, that's a bit awkward. I didn't mean to... Whoa, to Thanks. be awkward like that. Is that it? I probably have to wait for another quest from her at some point in the future. I'm confused as to why she's not saying anything. So I guess we'll just have to find out in the next episodes and get another quest for Siora.